just really, we uh, he doesn't get along well with other dogs. Um, and the way he, he didn't ring the doorbell, he goes at the door. Uh, so he goes after little kids if they're kind of running. So if we can get him to where we can have him in a calm place when people come to the house, that's, that's kind of our goal. Okay. Yeah, being calm around people and other dogs. Um, our son and new daughter-in-law have a new puppy, so mm -hmm. trying to get them to uh, cohabitate. So if we can get him comfortable with other dogs, at least to be able to tolerate them. I'm excited. He just seems very relaxed. But seeing the results and seeing how he is around your dog is that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Just seeing him uh, respond uh, without having to get like raised up to kind of a frustration and angry, uh, trying to get him to just be calm. So people get to see the true, his true personality. Jack, place. Yeah, yeah, I think that he can be calm uh, and be around things that are outside of his norm, his, you know, regular elements, mm -hmm. but yet he can, uh, he can be calm. It's going to be good to have him around everybody. But even just watching that, him just yeah. laying there, not jumping up at the doorbell and not barking. Yeah, the doorbell's always, uh, cause whenever somebody comes and you hear that and doorbell. And it would just be constant barking. That's probably the biggest thing for me, you know, to see him how he can just be calm. Um, being able to have him around other dogs without worrying that he's going to attack. <laughs> <laughs> um, just that, that calm.